and I appreciate the effort that it takes to come and defend uh, this proposal uh, at the legislature. Uh, I know it can be quite unnerving. Uh, but we do, we've got a couple of things in here I just wanted to talk about quickly. Uh, you outlined two main challenges that you feel that the state of Minnesota is facing. Uh, number one is a health challenge, and I think we've had some questions to address that. Uh, the second was the environmental challenge. Um, but I think there's a third challenge that uh, Senator uh, Weber uh, uh, touched on there briefly. Um, you know, the first two challenges of environment and health, I, I don't see how this proposal is a serious look at addressing those challenges of taking down mortality rates, of really finding environmental change uh, for, the, for the climate of Minnesota. You know, we, we live in a global climate and we've got issues that in Minnesota we're trying to deal with here with importing some electric vehicles uh, to take down our greenhouse gas mm -hmm. a small amount. We've got uh, great big mines in India and in China that have uh, environmental and human rights. They're just, they're disasters. They're affecting the whole world's climate. And yet we're gonna change climate with a couple electric cars. I think we have an opportunity in Minnesota with a couple of mines up in Northeast Minnesota that we could take away some of that market from China and India and make those areas compliant or or not putting out as much uh, dust, dirt, environmental impact. Um, and here we are with electric vehicles. To me, it, it doesn't make sense. If this is what we're really trying to do, affect climate change, let's do something about it. And we can do that with some of our mining friends up at Northeast Minnesota. Uh, the other thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is the fact that we, we had a story and we had a few people raise their hand that they're not able to get couple electric cars in the state um, and therefore we're going to mandate that dealers or that uh, manufacturers start creating more electric vehicles to put into the state. I mean there, there are no rules as far as I'm concerned about going over to California or wherever you need to go to pick up those vehicles. I, I don't think that that's the case. Uh, and finally I just want to leave you with one question and, and that is uh, we talked earlier, and you were going to do a little bit of investigating on out of state, uh, or I'm sorry, out state, rural Minnesota, whatever the PC term is now uh, for rural Minnesota. What groups, people, individuals uh, do we have that are supporting these, this proposal? Thank you. Sure. Thank you. So, um, Mr. Chair and Senator Johnson, thank you, and I appreciated the chance to visit with you this morning. Um, as uh, you are aware, um, the, these, the batteries in these vehicles do uh, require metals and uh, the, like copper, nickel, cobalt, all uh, which are available here in Minnesota. And um, as you are also likely aware, the MPCA did approve the polymet permit and the MPCA uh, for the MPDS uh, permit and the MPCA under my direction now um, defended that permit in court. So uh, there's nothing that uh, I think that you would say that uh, is getting in the way of, our, our leadership is getting in the way of uh, that. Second, um, the question that you had about um, there are not rules of my going and driving to California or New Jersey or flying to California, New Jersey and buying a car and bringing it back to Minnesota. However, uh, that dealer in Minnesota just lost my business. I went to California or I went to New Jersey to buy my car and drive it across the country because that was a car that I wanted to have. Um, I, when I talk to dealers and you know, certainly dealers can get some of these cars, but not all of these cars. And uh, this isn't uh, something that I see as uh, putting a great burden uh, on because we've got more than, this is going to impact models in 2024. And I think that's a really important point here. That's uh, a ways out and the dealers are there. Um, third, uh, you asked about greater Minnesota um, groups and 
I looked at that. I told you that uh, when I, we went up to Fergus Falls, we had a great amount of interest in this. Um, certainly we had dealers show up as well that had concerns and that's why we were holding these hearings. We weren't holding these uh, dialogues in places where we thought we'd only get positive comments and I think that's an important piece. We need to hear the real story behind this and what concerns people have so that we could really look at this. Um, but we did hear from emergency room doctors that came to those that had concerns. We heard from general citizens. We do have uh, the cleanup, the river environment uh, that is behind this that is interested and supportive as well as other individuals and companies. In fact, and while we look at Greater Minnesota, I think it's important to note that you know, a lot of our major companies here uh, in Minnesota have uh, put in support for this. So the Sustainable Growth Coalition here in Minnesota, which is comprised of everyone from 3M, Ackerberg, Anderson Corporation, Aveda, Bar Engineering, Best Buy, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Center for Energy and Environment, Ecolab, I can kind of go through all of this, but uh, have supported uh, this uh, rulemaking. And a lot of these companies have also said that they want to have these cars in their fleets. Uh, this is part of their uh, requirement that they have set or their goals that they have set. And I certainly was part of setting the goal at Best Buy when I worked there uh, that we had a greenhouse gas uh, reduction goal that our shareholders at the company expected us to meet and expected us to set. And one of the ways to do that was to bring in electric vehicles into our fleet. We at Best Buy, we converted uh, to Priuses on our VW Bugs, but you could not find the assortment of vehicles here in Minnesota that you could in some of the other states. And I think that that's one of the things that we are finding from our corporations is that they want to have more of these vehicles as well in their Commissioner Ruby, 